Virios Therapeutics is a clinical stage biopharmaceutical company developing and commercializing innovative antiviral therapies. And with me is the CEO Greg Duncan to explain the company and what all you're working on. So let's just give me an overview of Virios and what you're working on. Well, thank you first for having me today, yeah. Jane. So Virios Therapeutics is a late stage biotechnology company developing combination antiviral therapies to treat chronic diseases, diseases like fibromyalgia, irritable bowel syndrome, and a host of fatigue-related disorders. Why, you ask, are we developing antiviral therapies for these diseases? Well, for context, it may sh shock you to know that you, me, everybody here in the studio is infected with about a half a dozen common viruses. Oh. The good news, as discomforting as that is, is the immune system does a very good job of keeping those viruses in a dormant state. Okay. Unfortunately, for a subset of those patients, the virus gets activated and leads to the disease sequelae that's associated with fibromyalgia in particular. And so we're developing these combination antiviral therapies to get this virus from an active state into a dormant state. And I'm pleased to tell you we have clinical evidence that our lead compound IMC1 delivers significant clinical benefits for patients yeah, with fibromyalgia. I was going to ask about that. So IMC1, so that is showing promise. Has it been through what phase two clinical study? Or yeah. Where so are you at with that? Okay. IMC1 is a combination antiviral therapy combining two existing therapies, famcyclovir and celecoxib, into a fixed dose antiviral combination. One inhibits viral replication, the other stops the replication from happening at an accelerated rate. And through administration of IMC1 in a phase 2A trial, we've shown significant pain reduction, reduction in fatigue, reduction in anxiety and depression, and improvement in functionality for patients who meet the diagnostic criteria for fibromyalgia. IMC1 is presently the focus of a phase 2B trial, which will deliver top line results September of this year, so about a month from now. Okay. And we hope we can further validate IMC1's effectiveness, its tolerability, and its safety. And with that data, we'll get down to FDA and scope out what the phase three development program looks like okay. with the hopes of getting this drug to these Yeah, no, it sounds very promising. I hope so. so yeah. And your team and board of directors. So explain the team and who is all behind the company. I am privileged mm -hmm. to be working with a fantastic team. So in addition to myself, Dr. Mike General, our chief medical officer, has a long history in developing compounds in this particular area. Uh, Mike, myself, Angela Walsh, Ralph Grosswald, and our board of directors have developed and commercialized a number of household name drugs. For example, my first drug launch was a drug called Zoloft, mm -hmm. which was a terrific medication for millions of patients with depression. Yeah. Importantly, this team has been involved in the development and commercialization of two of the three drugs previously approved by FDA to treat this particular condition. So we know the space quite well, and we'll bring that experience to bear on allowing IMC1 to reach its full potential. Yeah, and it sounds like they also know the FDA process pretty well, which is something you would need to know because I'm sure it's complicated. No doubt. And yeah. Dr. Genro, in addition to being a co-founder of a company that developed and launched a fibromyalgia drug, actually was a consultant with the Food and Drug Administration to help them scope out the regulatory process that was used to approve those three drugs, Lyrica, Cymbalta, and Savella. And so we have somebody in our team who really knows the process quite well and with good data we hope to have a very successful conversation with FDA to get the nod to move to phase three with the goal of getting IMC1 into the hands of these millions of people who suffer from fibromyalgia. Yeah. Well, best of luck, and I look forward to an update once you get this top-line clinical data out. Thank you, Jane, for Thank having you me so today. Much. I appreciate it. Uh -huh.